What's up guys, the Penthes here and welcome back to another episode of Draft 2 Glory. As you can see on the screen, we have made some huge profit. Now we are, what, 17? This is episode 18, so this is actually the 19th draft. We made 354,000 clear, well, we made 206,000 clear profit and we have 148,000 of uh, items stored in the club. Uh, now that's actually not entirely correct because some of that stuff has already been used in SBCs that I need to go through. But we're getting there. Uh, with that being said though dudes, thank you for being here. If you could drop a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this going. Some of the, some of the uh, values have been updated. Uh, some of the silver cards that we pulled went for some good money because of the current SBCs due to screamer cards. And uh, we made some real, real clean money off some of those uh, La Levante players, which was sweet. But without further ado guys... Let's get into another draft. So, let's hope we can go for another win. We've won four of our last five. Um, let's go for the 4-4-2 two, four, four, two holding. Yeah, we won four of our last five and got to the final in the other one. Ooh. <clears throat> so, I want to keep that up. I might... Uh, uh, yeah, let's go French slash La Liga theme. Usmane Dembele is a nice card there. Hopefully, we get ourselves striker Messi. Oh, shall we go for Screamer cards? Let's go for Screamer cards. Why not? Let's go for all the Screamer cards. Let's take every Screamer that we take. There's that 94 Messi. Let's go. That's a huge, huge start. Uh, Boateng has got some all right stats. His biggest problem, same as last year, is just that stamina. Uh, 67 stam. He's got good attacking uh, abilities, actually. He's a little lacking on pace, but I might swap him down into the center of the park, to be fair. Uh, next up, guys, we've got... Have we got any Bundesliga players here? We have. We've got Griffo. Oh, remember Griffo's team of the season last year? It was very good. Four-star skill moves. Quite well-rounded stats. Just a little lacking on the long passing. But he'll, he'll, he'll do a job, that's for, that's for sure. With the Maestro chem style as well, not the fastest, unfortunately. Uh, but it seems like we've got a lot of pace down the right-hand side and not so much down the left-hand side. Next up, it's given me three Turkish League players. I'm going to take this guy, Van Kier. Because he's going to get a soft link into Dembele, which is going to give Dembele the perfect link. Oh, we're going to take this guy here as well, Bakayoko. That's pretty sick. That's a solid little midfield there. We need to upgrade the left-hand side a little. I wouldn't mind a couple more screamer cards, EA. Give me something. Oh, God. Um, I suppose we take El Elton. Bundesliga, so that's a good start. Shadow Chemstar was a great start. And he's got all right in games. Really nice stamp. Really good aggression. That's not a bad card for a silver, I'll tell you what. Our team is looking a bit a bit funky, to say the least. Rafa Varane is definitely going to be the guy we take from here. Uh, going for that whole French La Liga theme a little bit more. Unfortunately, nothing doing here. What have we got? We've got French and Brazilian. Could take Miranda. Could take Naldo. We'd get a strong link into Elton. It's got Catalyst, so it boosts his defending. He's 6'6", so it boosts his pace. 6-6 six, six with already good defending. Or we could take Vincent Company and sit, set him with uh, Bakayoko, which I think I'd probably prefer. So we'll take that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap those two around and we're going to set it like that because if we can go La Liga right back here, that would just be perfect. We can't. Oh, we can. Uh, this is a nice card there. Boom. And then in goal, a Kalor Navas would be absolutely spectacular. Didn't do it. Mandanda is okay. Joe Hart is okay. I'm going to take Joe Hart because we've already got a Premier League centre-back. That gets everybody on a minimum of seven chemistry, which is pretty decent. I'm going to save the last goalkeeper spot until we get all the defenders done. Um, I mean, Martinez is a good card, isn't it? Let's take Martinez. Uh, we'll, we'll hold on to him for now, just in case we go for La Liga in that defensive area. Ooh. Antonio, is it Antonio? Antonio Rudiger, I know the names. Um, Rudiger, no, Varane's got to be the one. That's that's a, a mistake to take him. Holibas with a shadow is definitely not a mistake to take. I know it gives Griffo a little less chem, um, but Holibas is very, very good in this game. I like him a lot. Next on the board, Vass, Catalyst, could easily put him in there instead of uh, Van Kier. Let's do that. 
Let's pop him in there. It'll boost chemistry uh, n none. It won't boost chemistry at all. That's surprising. I thought he would give us a plus one. I guess I was wrong. Oh, come on, EA. What are you doing? I'm not, I'm not using Aquilani. I don't I don't care about it. We'll take Kostic as a, as a nice super sub there and move on to the attacking players. Here we go. Right, so Mane is a decent shout. We might go Premier League. Yeah, let's go Premier League. Let's take Premier League here and then put the striker in at Premier League and take the Boateng Screamer card and pop him on the bench. Um, so I could take Willian or Coutinho. Who would I prefer? Does anyone else get any strong links? No, not Willian, obviously, because he's right wing. We've already got a left wing. Let's take Willy. <laughs> Let's take Willian. We'll take him. I'm going to pop him up front as well. That gives us a nice five chem boost. He's obviously not the ideal, uh, ideal player that we're going to want up there, but we'll take it anyway. I wouldn't mind a better goalkeeper. It is throwing Coutinho in my face. Do we take him? Will we use him? Have I, what have I got for subs already? Oh, nothing. Yeah, let's take uh, let's take Lucas. Bring someone on with 99 pace to uh, to to destroy. Celestin's a good option because of the defender. Granite Xhaka don't want. We're gonna take Rico or Celestin. Rico's a better goalkeeper. I feel we're gonna pop him in, and it's gonna be company. Well, they're both off Kem. It actually doesn't even change Kem anyway. It just matters which goalkeeper I prefer the most. Let's take Balassi there as well. Let's go and get our goalkeeper now, our last goalkeeper. Hopefully a Kalor Navas will show up. It didn't. We've got Carnesius. No Edison either, which is a shame. We've got Celestin again and we've got Moya. Uh, I'll actually take Moya. Um, I prefer Moya, I think, to, uh, to Rico there as the overall goalkeeper. So we've got two spots left. I mean, I could really use a Premier League striker and a La Liga centre mid. We we'll definitely take El Shirawi there as a, as a super sub. We only got one scream card as well. That's quite disappointing. Now I did. Oh wow, I got a Premier League striker and a La Liga centre mid. I also got Raheem Sterling. I'm going to take Callum Wilson. Uh, it's going to make more sense. We're going to pop him there up front. It's going to give us one extra chemistry. Ooh, I don't know if that's worth it. Seven on him and seven on Bakayoko. Or three on Willian and ten on Bakayoko. I'd say seven and seven is probably the, the better choice. We have got some decent subs. Uh, this isn't the greatest team. I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't expect too many things out of this. We've got some great players in here. Um, oh, I'll tell you what I could do. We could put Martinez in there. There we go. That's much better. That takes us up to 92 chemistry, um, which is fantastic. Much, much better. Let's get Balassi on as well. Um, yeah, we don't really have crazy things going on here. I suppose actually Mane, Bakayoko, Dembele, Messi, and then Wilson, who will get subbed on for um, for Willian, Lucas, or El Shirewi. We can then bring Boateng in for Vass. Our defence is solid. This way we get 10, 7, and 10 with 6 there. This way we get 10, 7, and 10 with 6 there. I suppose it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's a shame. We don't have a left back either that we can fear, and that's a shame. Yeah, this is how we're going to line the team up, guys. Uh, so let's take the manager real quick. Let's see what we get. Uh, Championship English goes to 93. He goes to 93. He stays at 92. He stays at 92, and he goes to 96. So we'll take the Spanish Premier League manager. We go up to 96 chemistry. It's a decent team. There's a few weaknesses in the team. I'll just be happy with a semi-final or better performance once again. That is the end of the gameplay. Let's get in to the action. Okay, guys, as we go into the gameplay, the first opponent we come up against has got a 96 chem, 82 rated team. Some very strong players in there. The Screamer Quadrado, Dries Mertens, Werner the Burner, Leroy Sané, Gundogan, who's obviously a good player. And the weirdest thing in this game, this guy went ultra attacking or all out attack from kickoff. His Cabaselli centre back, was just constantly up in my uh, in my defence and it made it quite easy to break down. So 15 minutes in here, Lionel Messi, beautiful little stop and turn, finds Mane, steps inside, shoots and scores to make it 1-0 and that put us on the road to more goals and it wasn't long into the second half before we got the second goal. Beautiful little play on the top of the box, Mane finds... Uh, I don't know who he found, actually. Eventually finds Messi. Messi with a fake shot stop. Finesse shot to the far post. 
the goal of dreams to go 2-0 up. And finally, there was a third goal in the game late on this time. Ball comes out wide to Dembele. Dembele gets in behind the defence, in between the midfield, evades a couple of challenges, fake shots at the top of the box, slams that one, and it rockets past the goalkeeper to make it 3-0. So we do get ourselves a nice, easy win going into the second round. As I said before, guys, you know, I feel like I've, I've found a level of comfort with this FIFA now. You know, it took me a couple of weeks to really just get to grips with a certain few aspects of the game, but I I'm, I'm really feel like I'm, I'm getting there now and I, I want to be able to push on to much better things. So the semi-final in the draft is kind of the, the least that I expect from myself at this stage. But the second opponent we'll come up against has got an insane team. Ronaldo, Griezmann and Messi, among others, in that team. An insane attack. Fortunately for me... I was able to stunt his attack and score multiple goals for myself. Was here into Messi, Messi into Bakayoko, Bakayoko to Wilson, the fake shot into the space and slams that one home to make it 1-0. A fantastic finish from Callum Wilson, who, uh, who was subbed off quite early in most games. Half-time, I'd say, most games is where he got taken off for either Willian or Mane or... Uh, or maybe, yeah, Sané. What, like, I don't remember who I was bringing on. I was bringing on someone. I can't remember who was on the bench. But Mane eventually made it 2-0 for us after just 13 minutes. And again, we're just on a really comfortable road in this game. You know, I could feel 2-0 uh, up. I was just the, the better player. My opponent was making silly mistakes like he did there. The ball falls to Dembele here. He does a fake shot in the box, scoops it up to himself. And then fires that one into the back of the net on the volley, on his left foot. What a fantastic goal that was to make it 3-0 after 24 minutes. And I, I really, I thought that was game over then. But 37 minutes in, we get ourselves another goal. Holibas into Bakayoko, Bakayoko into Was, Was into Messi, Messi with the fake shot and the low driven to make it 4-0 after 37 minutes and there was still time for one more goal by half time, Wilson here with a beautiful bit of work eventually gets tackled but wins the ball back, lays it into Mane who pops that into Messi and Messi chips that over the keeper with a touch of delight to make it 5-0 after 42 minutes and then at the half time whistle guys my opponent decided to rage quit. So a 5-0 win, very comfortable victory on in through to the third round now into the semi-finals. You can see that I had 60% possession by, well, the 42nd minute, not even a half-time whistle, but dominating the game. A 3-0 win and a 5-0 win. No goals conceded so far, which is nice. But into the next round, guys, we come up against another really nice team. Inform Isco, Ronaldo, uh, James Rodriguez, Lewandowski, uh, uh, the Screamer company, Inform De Gea, Mustafi, Kyle Walker, David Alaba. Yes, he's not the best for chemistry. He has got a few uh, little issues here and there, but paused straight away to make some tactical changes. Uh, you know, Isco came up into the midfield. He made a substitute as well. He took his cam off. I can't remember the name of his cam off the top of my head. Meyer, I believe. Uh, but it didn't stop me from getting the first goal. Wass here plays the ball into Callum Wilson. Wilson just evades the tackle, gets a shot off. It's a weak save from De Gea, to be fair. But Mane is there to knock in the rebound and put me 1-0 up after just 19 minutes. However, I did concede the next goal. First goal conceded of this tournament. And in fact... The only goal conceded of this tournament. Ronaldo there heads that one into my goalkeeper. It rebounds to Ronaldo and he gets an easy tap-in finish. So both, both goals so far in this game have come from poor goalkeeping errors on behalf of the AI. Deep into the uh, second half here is where we finally got the second goal. Dembele with a beautiful little uh, Magidi spin on the top of the box and another rocket of a goal from Dembele. And that was the end of that in terms of goal scoring. But Dembele has been fantastic so far. The, uh, the, the nice fake shot stop scoop volley. Uh, he had another one where he you know, did the fake shot at the top of the box and rocketed home. That one, the McGeady spin and another fantastic finish. But that, although I controlled the game towards the back end, as you'll see from the match stats there, I had way more possession, way more shots, way more shots on target. I was never really in control of the game. My opponent set up to play counter-attacking football and he was playing it very well. So I had to be very vigilant with the way I was defending. And fortunately enough for me, I held on at 2-1. And we send ourselves sailing through into the final. As I said, just the one goal conceded so far. And that was all we did concede in the draft. Which means we did get ourselves another draft win. Into the final, we come up against a very good team in many aspects. Again, Screamer Quadrado, Dybala and Lionel Messi in there. But he's got inform, sorry, not inform, left-back Moreno, left-back Felipe Luis, left-back Jordi Alba. 
and just weird positioning. He could easily get more chemistry by switching his team around a bit. If he switches his two centre backs around and then the Jordi Alba up at left mid and instead of and have Moreno in at left back, he would have got considerably more chemistry. But that wasn't my concern. My concern was scoring goals, and we eventually got the first goal after just four in-game minutes with Lionel Messi. And that was a very nice way to start things off. It didn't take too long before we got the second goal either. Dembele with a nice little McGeady spin into Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi with the stop and turn. Finds some space. Evades the, the, the kind of pressure and the challenge. Another fake shot stop into the box. Cuts that back into Dembele who finds Bakayoko. I don't know how Bakayoko managed to be the one that got the ball first there. You really feel like the defender should have done. But I'll take it. 2-0 and then in just 10 minutes uh, we managed to put the third goal in as well. Lionel Messi clean through on goal here and uh, the defender just has no chance. And that is what I love Messi about. An absolutely sensational finish from Messi. That's why that 94 Messi for me is so overpowered. He just finishes everything. You've seen the goals he scored this game. Some fantastic goals indeed. Dembele with some fantastic goals. And we end up getting a 10 minute rage quit in the final. 3-0 up. The easiest final we are ever likely to play. This though, guys, is going to be the end of the gameplay. Let's get into the packs. All right, guys, so we win again. We are now on a 6 out of 18 win. We've won five of the last six entries, six finals in a row. And this draft was actually a lot easier than I thought it would have been. This uh, the, Lionel Messi, a specific, I've not used his 93 card often, but this 94 Lionel Messi card is utterly disgusting. It just scores everything. Um, it was quite an easy route to the semi-final. Uh, first round 3-0, second round 5-0. The semi-final was a really tough game. I actually dominated in shots by the end of it, but the guy just was sat so deep and he kept trying to counter me and it was really effective for him. And so I came through a tough challenge there. I scored three goals in the final within 10 minutes and the guy had decided to rage quit. So I was mad happy with that. So let's see what we get as our rewards. Premium Gold Players Pack and a Mega Pack. Not the best, not the worst. We'll start with the Premium Gold Players Pack. Come on, EA. Give me my money back. Make me some cash. No shine here today. God damn. That's tough. What is it? It's a Spaniard. It's a centre back. It's Napoli. It is Real Albiol. I don't know how much he goes for, if anything at all. Maybe we can get a Levante player in here. Something along those lines would be quite nice. Um... I don't think that's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, none of this is what I'm looking for. A, ooh, a Russian league left back from... Come on. Be the dude. 8.3, 5.8, 5.6, 5. Yes, there's a 4.5 there. We get 4K out of this guy. That is banging. That's a really, a really good start. And uh, we'll send this guy to the club. We'll send these dudes up to the trade pile. That is our first... first uh, Pack back with the match coins that I made like two and a half K from and that guy already. We've already made a decent amount and now we get our mega pack. Come on EA, give me a shine. Give me a, a screamer. Not even a shine. What? I'm heartbroken. Oh, that's terrible. Donnarumma, he goes for about 1.2 K. That's unbelievable. Um, that's gutting guys, I'm not going to lie. That is gutting. We get Ashley Williams. Ooh. No, he's centre mid and gold, so it won't make any difference. He needs to be silver and a centre back. Alaves. Alaves aren't worth anything, are they? Not not past the standard, no. Raul Betis, no. Him, no. Him and him, no. Ashley Williams. He's 82 rated, so maybe. Uh, you know what? I, I know we're going to make profit here. Uh, we'd get like 1,200 for Ashley Williams. I know we are going to make profit here, but this is t this bad, is what it is. It's just bad. Um, we get an anchor chem style. That's pretty decent. Uh, we'll have a have a view on how much that goes for. We get Donnarumma and Montero. That's just poor. That's so poor. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we will make maybe like 5 to 10k here. I was expecting a little bit better given the fact that we, we won the draft. We got two decent rewards, I suppose. What do we got here? 1,300 coins. The consumables are going to carry us again, yet again. We also get 463 discard value. So we made like 3,000 coins back from match coins and discards. Uh, and then of course, chem style and uh, there you go, that left back sold for 4K. We would have made profit here, but not much. And that's quite sad. There was a lot of consumables, some, you know, some fitness cards, squad fitnesses and such. But uh, yeah, all in all, 
not ideal for the four games, but we'll take it. Another draft win. I'm really happy with the draft uh, performances so far. This, however, guys, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.